So this Excel lesson, I'm going to show you how to format cells, use the auto sum function, and do simple equations. Now what I have here is a simple budget that uh, just kind of a fictional example of what you might be paying each month. And so first thing you may notice is that these amounts here are just numbers. They're not actually in dollars. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to format the cells to be dollar amounts. Now I can either work with this section I've highlighted here or you know I might have more um, numbers down the road. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this whole column here. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to hover my mouse over the B and you can see it turns into that little downward facing arrow. So I'm just going to click there on the B and it's going to highlight this whole column here. Now I'm working in Excel 2010 so if you're in a different version it may be a little bit different. So I'm going to show you two ways how to format the cells. The first way is uh, in Excel 2010, I'm on the Home tab. I'm just going to go right here to the Number Format drop down, and I'm going to click, and I'm just going to go to Currency. And you can see right there, it's changed its dollar amounts. Well, in previous versions, you may not have this, so I'm just going to Control Z to undo that, and I'm going to keep this column highlighted, and I'm just going to right click just anywhere in here and go down to format cells and I'll pull this over here and I'm just going to go down to currency decimal places 2 and symbol dollar sign and it kind of gives me an example of what the dollar amounts will look like and then just going to press OK and this is all in dollar sign so now this is per month so I want to figure out what, what the total is. Now one way I can do that, you know, if I just need a quick number, maybe, um, you know, my spouse or um, a manager is asking me for this amount. So if, if I just need to give a quick number or just need to, to figure it out quickly, all I have to do is left click here on this top amount and drag it down to highlight all these uh, cells here. And if you look down here, you'll see um, it gives me the average, the count of cells that have information in them that are selected, and the sum. So average amount is 20167, the count, so there's 10 cells selected there, and the sum is 2016.73. cents. Well, that's great and all, but I need something a little more permanent than that. I don't want to have to you know, keep highlighting the cells to see the answer there. You know, maybe I, I want to print this out, you know, so I have the results all displayed there. So what I'm going to do is a very simple auto sum function. So I'm going to click where I want my result to be, which happens to be at the bottom of this list here. And um, so I'm going to go right up here to auto sum. I'm just going to click it and it's pretty smart so it it kind of assumes what what cells I might want to auto sum so I so it automatically clicks you know automatically selects them uh, let's say maybe I have a space in there or something that that auto sum isn't picking up on if it's not picking the, the correct cells what I can do is I can left click on them and just highlight them and you see right down in uh, cell B12 down here it, it's it's creating a sum for the cells that I'm selecting so once the cells I want are selected I can just press enter and there's my result right there so that's for one month now let's say I want to know how much my um, you know, my monthly bills are per year and I don't want to just know the total I want to know for each bill because you know maybe I don't feel like paying one of the bills or something you know maybe I want to find a way to pay less or maybe I need to omit something so I'm not paying so much whatever the case may be 
Um, I'm going to teach you a simple equation in Excel. So I'm going to click the cell in which I want the answer. And so I'm just going to start, start with this top fill here, the cable fill. I'm going to click in this cell because that's where I want my answer. Because that's where it makes sense. So each month I pay $149.50 for cable. How much do I pay per year? So now when you want to create an equation in Excel, you start by entering the equal sign. So that means whatever I type now, I want you to add up for me. So equals equals this amount. So I'm going to click in the cell. So I want that amount. So that way, if for some reason maybe I call a cable company and say, hey, you know, I don't want to pay that much. Let me pay less. Um, I can just adjust that amount and it'll automatically update in the cell here. So I want to do 149.50 and I want to multiply it by 12 because there's 12 months in a year. So I'm going to use the asterisk sign. So equal B12 times asterisk sign 12 because 12 months in a year. And I'm just going to hit enter. So that's how much I pay per month, that's how much I pay per year. Now rather than have to type out the equation for all of these bills, all I have to do to copy this equation down is click on it and go see how the cursor is a big white plus. Now when I drag it to the corner, it turns into a skinny black plus. So I just left click there, hold down the left mouse button, and drag down to the to the bottom amount here and then I just let go and it's copied all of the data down there. Now there's another way I can do this so I'm just going to click control Z to undo that. I'm going to highlight this cell I'm going to click copy and then I'm going to click the cell below it and hold down my left mouse button and drag it down to highlight all the cells and I'm just going to click paste so you get the same result just a different way of doing it you do whatever you find to be easiest I prefer the click and drag method um, but you know to each its own so that's that's great and all so now I know how much I pay for each bill per year but I want the total sum of what I pay per year. So again, there's a couple ways to do this. I can click on this cell. I can go to the corner, have it turn into the skinny plus sign, and just drag it there. So that's one way to get the answer. I'm going to control Z to undo that. I can click here where I want the result and do and just click on auto sum and it selects what numbers it thinks I want added in there and that's correct so I'm just going to hit enter and there you go so there's two different ways to come up with that amount so um, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you to learn some simple equations formatting cells and auto sum functions and I look forward to teaching you more in the future have a great night